Welcome back to your 30 days of yoga. We're on day seven. And today we're gonna to move through just a couple of moves that we're gonna be going through a lot. And this is chaturanga, all knees down, into cobra or upward facing dog. So we'll go through both variations. So coming to your plank pose, just like we did yesterday, spread the fingers wide, spread the hand wide, hands wide, coming all the way up to your plank, Hands are directly underneath the shoulders. Remember, broaden across the back. Tailbone is drawing down. Everything is scooping in, strong in our plank pose. Now, first of all, we're gonna take the knees down. So knees come all the way to the mat. Untuck the toes and just place your tops of your feet down on your mat. From here, just tuck your tailbone, roll the shoulders, lift the heart. So you're strong all the way in the body. The navel is drawing in. Gaze comes forward slightly. Now shine your inner elbow so that the eye of your elbow, I'm just gonna turn around so you can see, the eye of your elbow this bit, rather than facing in, and naturally when we come down, we might wanna bring the elbows wide, dial that space forward so you're wrapping the shoulders so the only space the elbows can go is in towards you. I'm gonna turn back around for you. So from here, elbows shining forward, the eyes of the elbows forward, tailbone is tucked, Start to gently bend your elbows, and as you bend them, bring your heart forward. So you start to lengthen the heart all the way forward. Spine is staying lovely and long. We're melting all the way down. Elbows are squeezing into the side body. And we find ourselves down. Now press your feet into the mat. Roll the shoulders. And starting to come into a cobra, elbows stay squeezing. Gently tuck the tailbone, squeeze the bum. Start to lift the heart off your mat. And maybe you just start really low for this first one. But can you really keep the legs lovely and active and just lift the heart? Find a slight bend in the back, just a little bit of space. Lifting the heart forward, take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, release all the way down. So that is your cobra. And maybe you want to take it into a full cobra now. So rolling the shoulders on an inhale, press the feet into the mat, squeeze the bum, squeeze the legs. Lift a little bit higher maybe this time. Elbows are still squeezing in. Maybe you come all the way up. So can you tuck your tailbone to take this out of your lower back? Keep your neck and chest really lovely and long. And as you exhale, bring it all the way back down. Place your body down as if you're growing through the spine. Now we're gonna tuck the toes. Send our bum to your heels and come to your downward facing dog. From this space, we're gonna roll all the way back into our plank, just like we did yesterday. So rolling all the way through, doming the shoulders. Now we're gonna move through a different option. So if you're very new to the practice, I recommend bringing your knees down whenever we move through this. Otherwise, we're just gonna flow through a little chaturanga, which is a little bit stronger, but you've got it. So, we'll, so I'll guide you through. In your plank pose, roll forward onto your big toes, just onto the big toes. So your length is all the way forward. Your neck is lovely and long. Now from this space, eyes of the elbows dial forward. Elbows start to squeeze into the side waist. We're gonna lower halfway down. Remember, forward rather than straight down. From this space, tuck the toes, lift the heart, knees stay off the mat, roll the shoulders, and we find ourselves in an upward facing dog. Shoulders are rolled, heart is lifted. Tailbone is still tucking, active in the legs. And now we're gonna roll all the way back, tuck the toes, send the hips up and back and come to your downward facing dog. And then bring the knees all the way down. Come to sit on your heels. So those are your two variations. If you're new to the practice, we're gonna to start to work these moves into flows as we go. So bring the knees down whenever you need. This space is here for you, knees down, lowering all the way, rolling, rolling the shoulders and just lifting to cobra. Remember elbows in, shoulders are down, heart is lifted, left, legs are strong. But if you start to feel like you're getting stronger and you want to explore the chaturanga, it is also so there for you on the big toes, lower halfway down. As you lower, think forward and down rather than straight down. A lot of the time we're used to this being a push up, that sort of motion, elbows are coming out wide. So can you really keep the elbows squeezing in? Lengthen the body forward, keep reaching forward as you lower, halfway down, tuck the toes, lift the heart, roll the shoulders, legs are strong. Upward facing dog. And exhale, we roll all the way back. Downward facing dog. So those are your two to play with. Feel free to go over them before we come back to the mat tomorrow. Replay this video however many times you need. And have a lovely day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.